The Elmore district has been a, uh, an area of high level of uh, export oat and hay production for 20 years now. So we've been looking over the years at fungicides that improve the quality of hay and uh, preserve its colour. We saw Maxensis in trials locally last year. We we're very impressed by the uh, colour that it maintained in the hay. Um, it has even seemed to increase biomass. Looks a very good product. We're uh, aiming to improve the um, quality and the quantity of hay if we can do those two things together. We've seen some other products um, for disease protection on hay and we've been using them. But uh, after having seen Maxensis in trials last year, we think that'll be the uh, number one product we'll be trying this year in, in our export oat and hay program. And do you think it's a value adding prothioconazole to the list of tools you have in, in disease management for oat and hay? Well, it looks like prothioconazole uh, was pretty effective on the diseases we see in um, export oat and hay and uh, the strobulurin with it uh, gives us sort of all the benefits we're looking for. So based on what we saw last year, we think it's probably the number one going forward for uh, use in export oak and hay.